Hello, and welcome to the Z Hut. Today, we're going to take a look at how we can add a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug to a battery charger so we can plug our 12 volt items into it. Now, the reason I'm doing this, uh, if you haven't seen my last video, make sure to look in the description below and check it out. I went over how to convert an old junk cordless drill battery into an adapter so that we could plug our cordless tools into the cigarette lighter plug of our vehicle and still be able to use them when all our batteries gone dead. Now I decided, well, I'd like to be able to also hook it up to my battery charger. Now I could try using alligator clips and stuff and hook it on there, but it'd be just a whole lot easier to add a plug. And I actually had one laying around. Actually, I had a couple. But if you don't have one of these, don't worry. Your local parts store, automotive store, they're going to have one. Um, your hardware store, good chance they'll have one. Um, lots of people buy these for like adding to fish houses and adding into vehicles and stuff. So they're not that hard to find. You can also, of course, order them online, but then you got to wait to get them. So if you don't have one, just go down to your local hardware store or automotive store. One, one of the two, I guarantee, is going to have it. Now I've got a big roll around charger here and this is a 1040 and was it 200 cold cranking amp start. Now I would only be using this on the, um, the 10 or the 40 when plugging something in. You wouldn't want to run it at the 200. It, uh, trust me, you wouldn't want to. But I'm going to mount mine at the top. Now if you had a smaller one of those handheld smaller versions of this, you could still I'm pretty sure find room on there to mount a plug. You might actually have to put a little bracket on the top to mount it if there's not enough room inside to run your wires. With one of these big roll around chargers, guaranteed there's room. And what we're going to do here in a minute is I'm going to bring the camera up here. I'm going to pop the screws off and open the top and show you here how I'm going to make the hole for it, put it in there, how to wire it in. And also there's one more thing I want to do. Because this will be running and we're not going to be using the giant alligator clips, now this does have some plastic up here, but it's starting to wear through and it could ground itself out. And I don't want it doing that. So my idea is I'm going to cut some short pieces of PVC pipe and take the handle off and put those on there. And then I can clip the handles or the alligator clips onto that on the side. So when I'm using the cigarette lighter plug, I'm not worrying about the short and out and sparks flying and popping circuit breakers or starting fires and anything like that. So all right, um, I'm going to go ahead and pop the screws out, bring the camera in, and we'll take a look at getting started doing this. So I'll catch you right there. All right, I got the cover popped off and hopefully you could see in there pretty good. So now to find out, first of all, we are going to need to know which side is our ground and which side is our positive. So you can just simply take, here's my ground cable and I followed it in and it comes out right here. So I simply, the ground wire, the outside of, let me grab it. It'll be the outside of this. We'll connect to this right here. Hopefully you can see laser pointer on it. Now for the live, which will be the center, we got to get, to move this out of the way here a little. Hopefully you can see right here, this is the positive lead that comes in, the red handle. And there's a bolt right there. Hopefully you can see, I got the laser pointer pointed on it. That is where we're gonna put our positive. Now, I am also in line, I actually gotta go out and find it, but I've got some fuse holders out in the garage, I know I do. I'm gonna put a fuse in line with this, just to be careful. Um, I'll probably put something decent in there, probably 20 amp should be more than enough. And uh, I'm going to put that in as well. Other than that, that's the only two places we got to connect. So the only other thing we got to do is take, and this is the cover, and this actually goes on this way. And I can see I've got plenty of room to put it right there. So that would be roughly right there. Check, yep. Right there is where I'm going to put my hole. And we'll get to that here in just a minute. Actually, um, I'm going to move the camera, move the battery charger out of the way, move the camera in, and I'll mark this out and we'll drill it. And we'll put that in, 
connect the wires up and then we will proceed to put our uh, PVC pipe on the side to clip the alligator clips on there so we're not shorting anything out. So, all right, let me get things moved. All right, I've uh, used my tape measure and figured out, I actually checked and putting it dead center in the plate, there's plenty of room and it'll just make it look nicer. Just make sure to measure yours out um, so you're drilling it somewhere where it's going to fit and the wire, the plug's not going to be touching any wires or getting in the way of anything. Now then, we're going to need uh, a small drill bit to start a pilot hole. I'm hoping I grab the sharp one. So what we got to do is drill our pilot hole first. <laughs> There we go. Oh yeah, make sure to put a uh, block of wood underneath so you're not drilling into your table. All right, uh, well now what I gotta do is I gotta drill a hole out. Now I actually got drill bits that go all the way up uh, above an inch. So I'm gonna go out actually and use my drill press in the garage. It's cold and stuff right now, so I'm not gonna bring the camera out and film that. But if you don't have the drill bit that's the size of your plug you're putting in, uh, you could you can get hole saws cheap. Um, actually, like your an unclaimed freight or Northern Tool or Harbor Freight Tool, you can get those cheap sets that have multiple sizes. They also got these other tr hole drills that you have to adjust the two pieces. And you can actually drill pretty big holes. Otherwise, um, a drill bit the size you need. If you don't have one, can't find one, go to your local automotive shop where they got a drill press and tell me you could probably pay the guy two, three dollars to pop a hole in there for you. But like I said, I have the drill bit and make sure your drill bit, you're not drilling it out so big that this pops through because there is not a whole lot of a lip to it. I actually got lucky and was digging through my used washers and nuts and bolts and stuff and I found a washer that'll fit over this to give me a little extra support. So, all right, I'm going to go out to the garage, stick this on the drill press, drill that out, come back in, and we'll uh, finish putting this together. All right, I have the hole drilled, and it came out perfect. This fits in there nice and snug, and it's actually good enough. I was going to put this washer in there. I don't think I need it. I think I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Let's see. That's the... Uh... So I just got to tighten this down. That's good. There we go. We've got our cigarette lighter plug. Now, all I got to do, I actually had this hooked up to something else a while back, and I still got the wires. So I think we're going to go ahead and reuse them. I'm just going to, I don't think they're going to have to be quite that long, so I'll shorten them down. And I also went out and found I need uh, needed two connectors so that we can screw them on. So all right, I'm going to put the battery charger back up here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, trim this down and put the connectors on and then we will get back to uh, putting this together. All right, I got the battery charger back up here and it was kind of a tight fit to try to have the camera up close while I was putting it in. So I did go ahead and put it in, but I'll show you here the connections again. You can see our ground wire, which is this one that goes to the outside, comes down and I zip tied it on here to keep it so it doesn't uh, pull out too hard and I also left enough on here so I get the lid open to unpull to pull these off to disconnect them if I need to get in here to fix anything as I have had to open this up once before the power cord um, was going bad so I had to take it apart and fix it and that's what this is here but then the positive the one that goes in the center again I zip tight it here and I got it connected down there everything's good to go 
make sure no one's touching. Yep, everything's good. So now all we got to do is let's see that fits on there that way. The outside on. Our center on there. That should work. And there we go. All I got to do is put those three screws back in. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this up, put them screws in, and then we'll take a look at putting that uh, PVC pipe on here so we got somewhere to to clamp the battery leads so they're not shorting out. All right, I've got the cover screwed back on the top. It's all good to go. I pulled off the handle. So now let's attach our pieces of PVC. Now I am gonna paint these, but it is nighttime plus it's winter and it's cold out. Uh, in the next couple days, it's gonna be above freezing. I'll paint them then. But uh, I went out and this is three quarter inch PVC. It fits on there perfect. So we'll slide them up. Look at that. Then we'll reattach our handle. that I'll finish torquing them down later yes I got them cut pretty good got about a half inch of slide room and they do turn a little bit so that'll make it nice all right so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna wind these uh, two cables up and stick them on there look at that they hold they don't pull off that's awesome Let's see, I want to wind this one that way. Actually, put that down like that. I usually clip them on the top, so it'll take me a time or two of doing this to remember how it goes. That'll work perfect. The cables aren't covering the plug on the front, so I've got an extension cord ran up and sitting right here. Plug it in. I can hear it turned on. All right, I've got now. If you remember at the beginning of the video, I was talking about the last video I did about taking a junk cordless tool battery and making an adapter so we can use it in a car cigarette lighter plug. Well, now we can use it with our battery charger as well. Look at that. That's about as bright. Yeah, I do have it down on 10, put it at 40. Yeah, that's about how it is. It's not a very super bright light. I've been meaning to get a replacement bulb. These came out back before the LEDs and uh, it's not very bright. The only nice thing is when you put a fully charged battery in it, the thing will go for hours upon hours. So, all right, well, it works. Well, that is how you add a cigarette lighter plug to your battery charger so you can plug 12 volt accessories into it. Well, I would like to thank you for joining us here at the Z Hunt today. If you found this information useful, thumbs up would be appreciated. So I hope you have a great day and remember, have fun building.